If you want to produce a great video, you're going to need great sounding audio along with your picture. In this segment, we'll show you how a tiny lavalier can mic a large area. When the diaphragm of a small sensitive microphone is mounted very close to a hard, non-porous surface, sound waves can reflect off of that surface and reinforce the sound waves traveling through the air and directly hitting the mic. The result is an overall increase in gain or volume, as well as reshaping the omnidirectional pickup pattern into a hemispherical pattern. This is the underlying principle behind the extremely precise design of boundary or plate style microphones, commonly used for teleconferencing or sound effects gathering. A similar result can be achieved by taping a very sensitive omnidirectional lavalier, such as the AT899 or MT830, to a large, hard surface. This technique won't quite have the smooth, even frequency response of a precision manufactured boundary mic, but it can take advantage of existing mega-sized sound gathering surfaces in order to cover wide areas that might not be practical to boom. For example, imagine filming a documentary in a classroom. The teacher is on a wireless mic. Wiring up the students is out of the question and booming them would be too intrusive and distracting. However, you could take advantage of that wall length whiteboard and turn it into a giant boundary mic. To record crisp sound effects at a hockey match, plant a lab on the 80 foot wide curved plexiglass barriers at either end of the ice rink and you'll hear the scrape of the skate blades against the ice. To turn a hard surface into a sound gathering tool, tape a lavalier as close to the surface as possible, but leave just a business card's thickness of space between the mic and the surface. The sticky triangle mount works well. Just reinforce it with a couple strips of tape. Don't forget the cable loop to hold back unwanted vibrations and handling noise. Reflected labs work best with the diaphragm parallel to the hard surface, which is easy to do with the side-facing mic such as the MT830. With the standard top-facing capsule such as the AT899, just leave it perpendicular. The most important thing is that the mic element should be close but not quite touching the reflective surface. Fine-tune the setup by adjusting the spacing between the mic and the surface while monitoring the results on headphones. Sometimes, a fuller sound can be achieved by minutely increasing or decreasing the gap. Or, try moving the mic to a different section of the reflective surface. There are a lot of acoustic variables involved, so don't be afraid to experiment. With this trick, even the smallest mic can pick up the largest spaces. In the video studio or on location, Audio-Technica has you covered.